Mac Kids 101 here today. This is a video on our new P Delete program for PC. Now, a few people who saw our video about P Delete and permanently deleting files on your Mac have PCs and they also want to be able to do it on their PC. Now, you know, there's something the recycle bin, equivalent to the trash bin on the Mac. Um, but uh, when you empty this, there's no way to secure empty it. I'll demonstrate there's no way to secure empty it. So, what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to use our application to secure empty it. There will be a link in the description of this video to download pdelete.exe. pdelete will be an executable you download just like the Mac has one install thing, which will hopefully you'll just put on your desktop. What you want to do is open up pdelete. Now, I have a file on my desktop, passwords.txt. It's just a simple passwords file. Okay. So, what I want to do is delete that. So, right here is the file path. I can either go through and try to figure out what the file path is. Take a long time. Or I can click this button that says dot dot dot. And then find the file in this open window. It's on my desktop. It's called passwords. Passwords.txt. Then I click open. Then you set the security level. Say this is pretty important. So I'll take it up to the maximum security. And I'll click delete file. And then I'll click yes. Okay, so it just deleted the file securely. It is no longer on my hard drive. It wiped it out. Now, that took not that long but if I set the security down to the minimum it can possibly be it's not going to be very secure when I delete it I'll click delete file and I'm deleting this password file so this password file was deleted way less securely than this password file that was a lot faster but if you have huge files um, that are pretty big that um, that maybe a Microsoft Word document or something like that it's gonna take a pretty long time to delete let me show you so right here I have something called pinger.txt which I don't like on my desktop so I'll click the dot 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 select to just search pinger.txt Okay, and set the security to high. Click delete file. Yes. It took a pretty long time to delete Pinger. Not that long, but long enough. So now I have um, a, a larger file called I'm sorry. I can open up I'm sorry and delete the file. And this is taken, that took like a few seconds. So I'll just remind you, if you have huge Word documents or anything like that, it's going to take a pretty long time to delete them. Right here, I have a wave on my desktop. It's a sound file. Okay, so now I'm going to set the security to low because it's not that important. And I'll click delete file. I'll click yes. I'll just remind you that um, this is going to take a long time to overwrite, even with this low security, because it's a huge file. So if you have huge files that you really need securely deleted, set this to high and then walk away from your computer and make a sandwich. Do something. Um, but if if it's not that important to get it deleted, but you don't want like um anyone just coming stealing your hard drive and finding it then low, lower security is better okay so now it's deleted now I'm gonna show you our overwrite feature overwrite is a feature that will just overwrite a file a bunch of times and not actually delete the file so let's see Mac Kids 101 news is just our news for our application so you can obviously see what's inside of it and now I'll open this up 
and I'll click overwrite. And I'll set the security to high because, yeah. So click overwrite, or I'll click yes, and it'll be overwritten, but not permanently deleted. So, right here, my kids are on that news. Every single character in it has been overwritten with an A. As you can see. So Mac Kids 101 News is no longer Mac Kids 101 News. It is this bizarre file. So that's really cool. So this is our wonderful, perfect delete file program. Um, I really suggest you look into it and get it because it's pretty cool. So um, thank you for watching Mac Kids 101. Subscribe and goodbye.